Hey everyone, it's the 13th Wolfman. That's right, it's me. I'm here. This is my review for Cult Epics in a Glass Cage. The movie comes from Cult Epics. They did a really great job on the transfer. It's a high definition transfer. There might have been one or two dark spots, but I think that's just the way it was filmed. It's it's a really amazing film. It's I know someone that says that this is highly disturbing, and in a way it is. <clears throat> But, uh, the story itself is just kind of twisted. I could understand why people would call this a horror film. Um, it, like I said, it comes from, it comes from cult epics, but the movie comes from Spain itself. There are no, the, there are no English language dubs. You have to read the movie. They speak in Spanish, you read American subtitles. It is a very uh, interesting film. So you have this, you have this World War II Nazi doctor who, during World War II, did some twisted stuff to some kids. While, you know, like I said, he was a war, he was a Nazi doctor. So while he was in charge of prisoners and stuff like that, he messed with these kids and really messed with them. Uh, he towards at the very beginning of the movie he's messing with this one kid and then he goes to the top of this building and we don't see him do it but we know that he tried to kill himself he tried to jump off fast forward to now to not now but 10 years it's now 19 50, I think it's I think it's 1955 I'm not positive on the year um, I watched another movie that was that also had to do with Nazi stuff, so I don't want to... But fast forward to after the war. Let's put it that way. And he's... The, the, the doctor is now in an iron lung. And if you don't know what an iron lung is, it's an ancient respirator. His entire body is paralyzed, and he can't breathe for himself, so they put him in this giant cylindrical glass tube with his head sticking out. It's completely sealed and there's a air pump and with the pressure on the inside of this tube that he's laying in it causes it put it compresses his chest and then it releases the air in and it brings his chest back up so this is basically breathing for him it's an ancient respirator kind of like if you were to watch a TV show today where they're in the doctor's office someone will cram a tube down someone's throat and do it that way well, this is how they used to do it. Uh, so he's in this iron lung, and that's what they were called. So he's in this iron lung, and he can't do anything for himself. He's got a wife, he's got a daughter, and he needs a he needs a nurse, basically. The wife says, "Okay, I will put an ad for a nurse." And this kid shows up, who's a young adult, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, maybe seventeen, somewhere in there. And he says he will. He will care for the old man. He will do things for him. And I'm gonna leave that with you right there. I want you to see this movie if you haven't. Uh, the reference to in a glass cage is the fact that he's in an iron lung and it's glass on all sides. So technically, he's he's stuck in a glass cage. Which is kind of a cool reference. The movie itself looked good. I really like the look of it. The I, I love the layout, the front, the back, and it's a two-disc set from Colt Ep from Colt Epics. One disc and one one for the extras. Overall, the movie itself, I would give three chainsaws. I, I, it's a really bent movie, but I actually liked it. Um, I don't mind reading movies. You know, uh, it, it's actually coming along pretty well now that I've been watching a few more foreign horror films. Uh, it's, it's really, like I said, it's really done well. I will leave the link to Cult Epics below. You can check their stuff out. This definitely is 
is a three chainsaw movie. Um, but like I said, it's per the subject matter is pretty bent. So I give you fair warning about that. Please, if you want to, check it out. Uh, do some research. Go online. Look up the trailer. See if this movie's for you. Go to cult. Go to cult epics. Check it out. See what. See what their synopsis has to say about it. And I don't think you'll be disappointed. I'm the Thirteenth Wolfman. And I'm on the prowl.